In order to understand the phenomena of total internal reflection, we will make use of a smoke box. It is an enclosed chamber used in optical experiments to make the path of light rays visible. It works by filling the box with smoke, which scatters light that passes through it. This allows observers to visualize and trace the behavior of light as it interacts with various optical components such as a mirror, a lens or a prism. This is an enclosed chamber. The box is sealed on most sides to contain the smoke and keep ambient light from interfering. The box is designed to hold various components like mirrors, lenses and prisms in position. In this case, it has a pre-installed holder in which the prism can be held and it can be rotated. Now for smoke generation, a small safe smoke source is used to fill the box. Common sources include burning incense sticks that is agarbatti or dhoop. The observation window is a clear transparent window or a panel and is strategically placed to allow a light source to enter and for observations to be made from specific angles. The experiment is based on the principle of light scattering by smoke particles. Now when a focused beam of light such as a beam from a laser enters the chamber then it tends to collide with the microscopic smoke particles and these particles scatter some of the light in different directions and making the path of the beam visible to the human eye. In the darkened room, this creates a clear illuminated trace that can be observed and analyzed against the dark background of the box. It is the illustration of TIR, total internal reflection, whereby no refraction takes place. Instead, the light gets totally internally reflected without there being any change in its intensity. By rotating the prism, the ray of light can be made to deviate through an angle of 180 degree as well. Here, the light suffers two total internal reflections. So it's an interesting phenomena whereby the ray of light can be made to bend through an angle of 90 degree or by 180 degree. And the key point is there is no loss in the intensity of the light.